piece down because I'm gonna I'm I'll put the glue on the back side, which Hey guys, it's Brandon with Rust Woodwork and Family, and tonight we're going to be making a flag with a cross cut out on it. Uh, this particular flag, we don't sell many of them, um, since Daniel and Dutch has actually posted their video when I, I gave them their flags of their YouTube channels. Um, things have been totally different here for me and my family in the shop. We have been covered in orders, and I know it's with the holidays coming up, but uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, it's been spending a lot of time out in the shop making a lot of flags. So, to the point that I've extended my vacation, and I'm just really thankful uh, for, for Daniel, uh, Dutch, and Brian. I'm really thankful for what uh, they have done to help me out. They, the, I don't think they really understand how much I'm, I'm really appreciated of it. So, when I started this YouTube channel, uh, I can actually remember a uh, conversation it was uh it's about a year and a half ago um there's another guy that works with us or he did work with us he's retired now brian mcgill uh, he's also got a youtube channel smoky cnc woodworks um we was actually drinking a cup of coffee and, and talking about the youtube deal and you know that would be awesome you know to make a youtube channel you know rust woodwork and i thought about it for a couple more weeks and then i kind of quit thinking about it because I was like, well, you know, I I can't stand in front of the camera and talk, uh, you know, and, and there's only so much you can talk about with wood. Just forgot about it. And as time went on, uh, still spoke with Daniel and then uh, Brian with Smoky CNC uh, Woodworks, he, he started a YouTube channel and I started seeing uh, him make videos. So I was like, man, you know, I, I need to give this a shot but I kind of put it back on the back burner again so finally about about a month and a half ago uh, my oldest son he was wanting to make a YouTube channel uh, you know he's always watching all the kids are always watching YouTube and and he was wanting to make a channel with so I debated on it because I, I really monitor and watch what the kids w uh, watch on YouTube so I talked to my wife after some time I was like you know what we'll go ahead and do it. So I started YouTube channel out as Rustic Woodwork. As time went on, you know, like I said, there's only so much you can talk about uh, woodwork and, you know, what we build is the flag. So I was like, well, I'll add the family. You know, he wanted to start a YouTube channel, uh, kind of add the family to get involved. And, you know, that has been the best thing for, for us as a family. Not only are we recording the memories of uh, the kids growing up, but it... So long story short, after about a year, year and a half waiting um, I finally decided to make the YouTube channel and from the very beginning of this I've had so much help you know Brian with Smoky CNC Woodworks he's helped me out starting out talking to Daniel and then actually getting to meet Dutch a couple weeks ago I was really impressed by sitting there talking to Dutch and Daniel at the same time when I took their flags to him and you know they reached out and asked me questions which direction I was wanting to go with the YouTube channel and they're trying to point me in the right directions and you know they didn't have to do that so um, like I say Brian, Daniel and, and Dutch I really have to thank them for for the success that has happened so far with the YouTube I could not have done it without them and um, I, I just could I, I could say this time after time I'm just really thankful um, like I say the last couple of weeks uh, the orders has been rolling in to the point that, like I told you, that me and my family is the ones that, that make these flags and build them. So last night I posted on Facebook that uh, I needed somebody to help cut wood. About 2 a.m., Brian sends me a text message and said, don't worry about that, I'll come over and help you. And I really didn't want to accept it just because I know he's got, he, he's got his own wood shop he works in and he takes orders as well. He's got his own YouTube channel, Smoky CNC Woodworks. And he just started a YouTube channel with his pastor at the church he goes to, the next revelation. And I don't know if you've ever heard of the Pyre team, but I can remember when they actually came to our school when I was in grade school. And there was five or six guys that showed up and they talked to us as kids and they could do some amazing things. So if you haven't ever seen the Pyre team, I encourage you to go check this channel out right up here. It's called the next revelation. I think you'd really enjoy it. 
I mean, long story short, it's it, he, he basically goes to these the grade schools and he talks to the young kids and, and you know, tries to tell them about his life growing up. So in, in today's world, I believe our kids are being directed in the wrong direction just by with all the negative stuff going on in the world. So I really enjoy watching uh, the videos they have up already. They've only got two or three videos up right now, but um, I really believe that uh, y'all will really enjoy it to watch him, the videos of him going to schools, talking to the kids and I really encourage you to go up here and check this out. You really do need to check it out, especially if you got young kids, let them see it uh, and watch some of the amazing things they do. Um, so, but anyways, tonight I'm going to go ahead and get to this. We're going to go ahead and, and start building this flag with the cost cut out in it. But if you have not yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and check that notification bell up top. That way you won't miss our videos. And I hope you enjoy this. Okay guys, what we're fixing to do here is go ahead and start the flag with the cutout cross. So to, to do this, you're gonna need the uh, one union, which this flag here is gonna be 30 by 16 and three quarters. So uh, the small stripe, there's gonna be 13 stripes, which that's how many's in the flag. Um, you'll need six st stripes, 30 inches, three red and three burnt. And then you'll need seven stripes for the um, the top path. Four red and then uh, four red. So I've already kind of got this rolled out here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what, what I've got it here and how, how I did it and how I came up with it. So. Um, First way I, I started out here, I'll go ahead and take from the union to the outside, which is 18 and a half. I'll go ahead and divide that up and find the, the center of it, which is, which I've already got a block here cut out. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and find the, the middle of uh, nine and a quarter. There, I'll come back down here at the bottom, get the nine and a quarter. So I know with the flags with the stripes, I always start at the second one from the bottom, and it's going to be the uh, fourth one from the top. So because the cross is actually going to be the same uh, width as the stripe, so I'll, I'll line it up here at the bottom. You want to make sure everything's flush. After that, like I say, I'm gonna come back with the the actual uh, piece I already had cut for it. So on this, I've already got the measurements out to nine uh, and a quarter. I've already found the center part of it. And on both sides, it should be right at five and an eighth. You want five and an eighth on both sides. So now that you've already took your measurements as the flag is going to set, you want to make sure the stripes match up to where you want them. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and start flipping them over. The opposite direction. That makes sense here in a second. start from the top here because I know this is going to be cut out so I'm going to go with uh, uh, I'll start right here at this side here 
one, one, two, two, three, and so forth. So you want to have uh, actually uh, 18 cuts. So at this time we're going to go ahead and take them up and we'll go over to the uh, chop saw.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I'm going to let that set for about four to five hours, and then I'll come back and uh, actually flip it over and staple it up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and loosen them off like I did on the last bags. Take the pressure off of them. I'm going to go ahead and put this here, the top pieces out just a little bit, so I'm going to pull it in together. So th same thing as my last flags, I used the, uh, the strips on the back, although this and usually they get four strips, this in here is going to get six because we got some cuts in between here. I'm going to put strips on each one of them, that way the boards cannot break loose. Uh, I just don't want to take a chance. It, I know it's overkill, but here's the deal, I build this pro these products to last. So that's what I want them to do. I definitely do not want returns coming back. What it's going to, the back of it's going to look like when you get done. Like I say, there's a lot of wood on the back, but with mine, when I make them, I want to make sure they do not come apart. Uh, so. And there's the cross. And then after, uh, I'll actually rough this one up some. I will uh, I'll get a sander and sand into the gra in engrave it and then we'll come back and put the stars on it and it will look really good. So, <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up. I think it turned out really good. I've got to come back and, and cut trim up the top here and then the back, as I, you see while I go, is there's st six strips on the back. Uh, I know it's a little bit of overkill, but a lot of times we get mixed up with the company out of Tennessee that actually has shut the doors now. They've received thousands of orders and took people's money and they still haven't got their flags since 2017. So that was hard to earn the trust of people when I first started this. And trust me, it was really hard, but we're getting there. So uh, we, we build these to make sure they stay together. Um, so what we're going to do after this, I'm going to paint the stars. We'll put the stars on it. And then we'll make it look a little bit more rustic. And other than that, it'd be ready to go. Like I say, it's not really that hard. It's just a little, uh, it's not really that hard to build these. It's just a little bit more time consuming. You have to go through here and cut all the pieces out in the measurements. So, but, you know, if you're building a bunch of them, you know, all you got to do is build some templates and, and you're good to go. So, but anyways, this is how we uh, build the flag with a cross cut out of it. Um, as I was saying before, um, man, uh, I went and picked up the wood just a little bit ago that uh, Brian had, had cut for me yesterday. I was really shocked that he actually picked up the wood yesterday and then he calls me this evening and says, hey, it's ready to be picked up. That's amazing. You know, I, I can't thank him enough to, for actually helping us uh, cut the wood and, you know, try to get on track with everybody ordering these flags. So, like I said before, him and his pastors just... Uh, started a YouTube channel called Next Revelation and it's a really good channel. I mean, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Tapire team. It started back when I was in grade school. Craig Lemons is one of them that uh, started the uh, Pirate team and now he still goes school to school and, you know, uh, you know, talking to kids and like I said earlier, I think our kids are being guided in the wrong direction. So I really encourage you to click this link up here at top. 
it's the next revelation um, and I really think you'd really like that channel especially if you got kids um, man he's an awesome guy uh, I can remember from this day uh, sitting in the gym floor watching him and the other guys coming out and, and doing their power team stuff so like I said I really encourage you to go over there uh, leave a comment saying Brandon sent you over there so if you have not yet go ahead and subscribe to our channel and go ahead and click the notification bell up there so you get the latest videos so I really do appreciate y'all watching our videos it, it it's a blessing for me and my family I know I say that a bunch but it is I mean that's the reason why we make these videos is to to show other people so I'm really blessed for the comments that ha has already came in but anyways I hope everybody has a wonderful night and may God bless you